Hello everyone. I'm here with the foreshadowings from season 7 and my season 8 predictions based on these foreshadowings. I'll also post the second part of this video, season 8 updates and season 7 Q&A videos soon. Make sure to subscribe this channel and also click on the bell next to it to activate notifications for this channel. This time, let's start with the south first and then we'll move north from there. Before we begin, let's take a look at what Cersei and Euron's intentions were in the previous season. There's only one reward I want. You shall have what your heart desires. When the war is won. So Euron wanted to marry Cersei in season 7 and Cersei had agreed but also delayed it by giving the excuse of the war. She probably thought she will have him murdered when the time comes to marry him but there is no war with Tanny anymore. They are on truce and Jaime has left Cersei too with the commander of her army is gone. Cersei is backed into a corner now. She will have no choice but to accept Euron's proposal and marry him. because we know that Cersei intends to take back the kingdoms she has lost Cersei won't take back half the country the moment I march north while they battle in the north we take back the lands that belong to us she said so herself while they battle in the north we take back what belongs to us they have already defeated high garden and dawn which leaves castlely rock and dragonstone now i don't think danny will leave any of her people behind It's an all hands on deck kind of situation in the north. So it will be very easy for Cersei and Euron to take back both Castlely Rock and Dragonstone. And after that, I think she would go to an island, either Pike or Dragonstone, and will try to wait out the winter. She was saying something about Euron's idea of getting on the boat when Tyrion interrupted her in the season 7 finale. Once they are married, I think Euron will play the good husband for a while until they took back everything from Danny. After that, he would want to kill Cersei, just like he had planned to do with Danny. But Cersei will be planning to kill Euron too. It would be nice to see the Westerosi version of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, or rather, Mr. and Mrs. Greyjoy. <laughs> Anyways, we know that Theon is leading what's left of his people to rescue Yara. I don't think Euron will let him take her away that easily but as I've been saying for a long time now I think Theon will become a great fearless leader he will kill Euron and will take back the Iron Islands he will also earn the respect of his people during the process I think he will be the one who will end up ruling the Iron Islands I also think that Yara will die in next season Mostly because I'm going by the assumption that a lot of main characters will die by the time the Great War is over. Another reason why I think Euron won't succeed in his plan to kill Cersei is because Cersei's fate is to die at the hands of the Valonqar, which means little brother. As for who that Valonqar is, I'll discuss it in the second part of this video. And as for the baby, I'm still not sure whether Cersei was telling the truth about her pregnancy or not. For all we know, she made all this up to keep Jaime in line. And as for Jaime, judging from his intentions, I think it's obvious that he will travel north. But Jaime going alone won't make much of a difference, especially not with one hand. As I've said in my season finale review videos, Bronn might flee King's Landing and will probably join Jaime on the King's Road, but that's still not enough. That's why I think that Jaime will also try to warn the Southern Lords and will try to convince them to join him. He will try to build an army to take North with him. I was rewatching season seven and I noticed something. It might be nothing or it might be a foreshadowing of Jaime's fate. Back in the third episode. When Euron and Jaime stood next to each other, Jaime told Euron that if he turned on them, the crowd would love to see his head on a spike, and Euron said, "Or yours." If you turn on us, I will cheer to see your head mounted on a spike. Or yours. In the end, it was Jaime who ended up turning on them. Does this mean Jaime will be beheaded or will die from a head injury or something? Because let's be honest, This is the last season 
and i honestly don't think that a lot of people will survive this especially not jamie he would like nothing more than to die fighting on a battlefield and i think in some way he is still trying to protect his unborn child because as he has told sarsi our child will never be born if the death comes out so it makes sense that he will try to stop the dead let's move a little north to the riverlands now i still hope that we will get to see atmore in this season hopefully the word of the phrase downfall will give him enough courage and he will join the starks to fight in the north and i still believe that howland reed might reveal some secret as i've said before i think if howland reed did show up even if it's just for one episode it would be for something more than just revealing john's parentage because bran can do that on his own it turned out bran didn't need howland reed at all as i had explained in my howland reed's role in john's birth video i think the three eyed raven had sent him to the isle of faces for a reason he had stayed there for some time before leaving for harren hall where regar had crowned lyanna the queen of love and beauty so i hope we will get to see what he did while he was staying at the isle of faces let's move farther north to winterfell now little finger is finally dead bran will probably tell sansa and arya that the wall is broken now and as much as i would love to see arya taking little finger's face and bugging the hell out of sansa about how much he loves her as we have seen in so many memes lately i don't think arya will take his face if arya had killed little finger in secret she could have taken his face but she killed him in front of both the stark soldiers and lord yon royce and his men from the vale she can't become little finger now and she doesn't need to i think sweet robin and lord yon royce will still support sansa so they don't need little finger anyways and i will discuss the rest of the stark's fate in the second part of this video as melisandra has promised i think she will return to westeros to die just like varys is supposed to die here i think they will both die by the fire melisandra has told davos's son that there is no death purer than the death by fire and as for varys if varys really is the mole in danny's army danny or rather drogon might be the one to burn him alive there's enough foreshadowing for that in the show in season 6 kinvara has said to varys we serve the same queen if you are her true friend you have nothing to fear from me did you notice how she has said if you are her true friend and in the second episode of season 7 danny has also warned varys that she will burn him alive if he ever betrayed her and do you remember how it was varys who had told tyrion to find a way to make danny listen implying that danny is getting out of hand we all know that varys is as good a player as little finger can you imagine little finger settling down and supporting one ruler he couldn't do it even with the woman he claimed to love and varys doesn't even love danny like that and danny warning varys when they first arrive at dragonstone and then melisandra telling him that he will die in westeros i have a feeling that varys might get burned alive maybe danny will find out about his betrayal and will give him to drogon it all started with fire for him and it will also end with fire maybe he will reunite with his body parts in heaven or hell wherever he will go anyways in the season 7 finale we saw the night king broke the wall at eastwatch by the sea and the army of the dead crossed the wall as i said in my episode 2 review and sansa's master plan explained videos I think they will head straight to the places shown on the map in the opening title of season 7. If you look at the map, you will find that all the army of the dead needs to do is march straight south from Eastwatch and they will reach Dreadford. From Dreadford, they can easily take over Carhold too. Taking these two places will give them a foothold in the northeast. I don't think the Night King will head straight to Winterfell though. only in the end 
because I think the main battle will take place in front of Winterfell, like the Battle of the Bastards, or it will happen near the Isle of Faces. Where do you think the main battle will be fought? Anyways, the Night's Watch's job was to make sure the threat from the north stays in the north. But now that this threat has reached Westeros, there is no need for them to man the castles at the wall now. I think the Night's Watch will also go to Winterfell because that's where the main battle will happen. As I've said in my Stark Blood video, I think the walls of Winterfell are protected by a similar magic that protected the wall. Even without that, it will be the safest place in the north and as Sansa has predicted, many people will go there to seek shelter. And thanks to Sansa, they will have enough provisions to at least not worry about starvation. And once the Great War ends, I think the Night's Watch will be freed from their vows. There will be no need to mend the castles after that. This will be a new era, a new world. And in this new world, I think Sam will marry Gilly and will adopt little Sam, assuming they will survive the Great War. I also think that Sam will write a book in the end about this war. What do you think? Anyways, it's time for the common shout out now. Today's common shout out goes to the chosen one who said, Wow, what a freaking amazing video. I never thought about some of these points. You are a genius. Hope you get tons of new subscribers. Thank you for your kind words, chosen one. I hope so too. <laughs> just kidding. I just hope that you guys will stick with my channel and will continue supporting me. That's all I hope for my channel. So, what do you think of these theories? Don't forget to tell us in the comments. If you like this video, please click on the like button below, share the video and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Bye-bye. See you in my next video.